I am the founder of a nonprofit organization, and we are creating these projects where we're bringing solar energy to other nonprofits around the world. So the Sustainable Future Survivor Girls film was the first documentary documenting the impact of one of these projects through the organization. Sustainable Future Survivor Girls was filmed in Calcutta, India. That's me. It takes place at a sex trafficking rescue for young girls all the way from about three years old to in the 40s and 50s. But the shelter is designed to rescue girls 18 and under. I spent some time in the shelter before I decided which angle I was going to come in and, and deal with this subject matter. We had to feature the clean energy, but I wanted to show the unseen benefits and tie in two stories and parallel them. It covers the solar energy and water filtration that was shipped to India, installed at the shelter, and the benefits and the impact of that on the girls at the organization. These girls have been stolen from their families, they've been raped, beaten, locked in small rooms. I really wanted to tell the story of this shelter and how it was empowering these women to have a solid future. So instead of the typical documentary, we had an impact-driven documentary, which is now a model for a series that we want to create. We also want to use that as a platform to speak to energy companies, water filtration companies, companies developing clean alternatives. And we would like to partner with those companies and work together to share their products with the world through the documentary, as well as use those products to donate to other nonprofits around the world and developing regions and kind of merge all these things together. I think it's a win-win all around for everybody.